Can you touch one of the balls that are around here? Whoa! Says I don't understand. Dude, look what it did to my phone! Oh my gosh. What is happening? Especially if you can do it on like a count, like one, two, three. But that's when you oh. Oh. oh holy Whoa! I was hearing footsteps behind me or to the side of me the whole time. And then it said, we're and then it said, we're going with you and then we're watching you. I was like, what? But it was freaking me out. I swear to you guys, I heard an owl. I heard a If an owl like popped up in that hole right there, that would be sick. <laughs> and then transform oh. it. What's up everybody? Welcome to Day at Night, the greatest channel on YouTube, hands down. <laughs> Tonight's episode, or investigation, is a little bit different in what we were looking for, but it turned out to be one of the most crazy investigations with the most crazy evidence that we've ever gotten. I'm talking disembodied voices, phantom footsteps, and then our equipment going off like it's New Year's Eve or whatever. Who knows? I don't know how that analogy came up, but... So I came across this website called Rockerbox, and it was about Clark County treasures. Clark County is the most southern county in Nevada where Las Vegas is. There was a ton of gold ore found on the bodies of five dead men near Devil's Peak. I thought, hmm, Devil's Peak is really close to my house. It intrigued me a little bit, so I looked into it, and it told me to refer to a book called Lost Treasures of Nevada. There's a guy named Kenneth Bartlett. And he's a hardworking miner, came out west to strike it rich. But him and five of his friends heard there was gold up on this ledge near Devil's Peak where no one was mining. And so these six guys went up there, they got all this gold, and they were as happy as could be, high-fiving, whatever. They get down to the base of Devil's Peak and they camp out for the night and this greed consumes Kenny. He can't stop thinking about having all the gold to himself. Now this isn't like him, but something is just taking over him and he can't do anything except thinking about having all this gold for himself. He ends up killing his five friends. He found it was a lot harder to travel with the gold of six men than, than one and he was having a little bit of a hard time. So about halfway there, he's up on this this road up on another ledge and there's a cave that he finds kind of hidden back tucked away and he decides he's gonna get all the gold and he's gonna hide it in this cave and then he'll come back little by little and get it to his destination and so he's staying the night with the gold in this cave and something spooks him so badly that he takes off out of the cave leaves all the gold there and is not ever going to return for it again. It's not worth it. He told this story to one person, one confidant, and he said it was, he described this being as a witch or a banshee. Now, as the weeks went on, a couple months went on, this greed started consuming him again. He couldn't stop thinking about the gold. And so he decided he's gonna go back, just get the gold out of the cave, and then he's going to blast the cave entrances so that all the rocks and dirt fill up the entrance and trap the witcher banshee inside. So he leaves to go get the gold to, to trap this banshee inside the cave and nobody ever hears from Kenneth Bartlett again. So this summer, it was so hot, it was very hard to film and do any investigations or make any episodes and I'm sorry about that, but it was 120 degrees plus for a week straight. But I still had to take out my dog Rocky, to let him off leash, so I take him to different spots out in the desert. And I started looking for a cave that met all the descriptions of this one. Started from the state line, like in Prim, Nevada, California, all the way to like um, the Spring Mountain. And then one of the, the last nights in August, we're walking and all of a sudden we're on this road that is kind of the way Kansas described it, up on this ledge. And I see two piles of rocks and they have an opening, like someone pulled one rock away, and I 
kind of climb my way up there and sure enough it's a cave but I was by myself and something scared me so bad I was terrified that I hurried up and got Rocky and we got out of there. But I said, there's no way I'm going in there by myself. I'll come back with Chris and Mark. We will investigate. We'll see if there's any truth to any of this lost gold or hidden gold legend. And not only that, but see if there's anything that lurks around this cave or even in this cave. And if there's a witch or banshee or any other entity, we're gonna find out. So that's what this episode's about. We go back to the cave and I think you're really gonna like it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what is the matter with you? Seriously, subscribe. I'm a dad. I work full time to make sure that family comes first and I take care of them. But there's nothing I would rather do than to make videos um, and to have the income to spend all my time doing this and really making them bigger and better. But right now I can't and I do the best I can. But with your support, I know this channel can get there and we can do great things. Um, but all you have to do is subscribe. It's free on your end. It takes two seconds. Hit the notification bell, comment, like the videos, and uh, we'll get there. It's been a slow and steady climb, but we'll get there. We appreciate all of you that have keep watching and have subscribed, and we love you guys, and we hope to bring you a great, great Halloween season with a few more episodes. Hey, so we're at this cave that is supposed to be a cave of folklore and legends of Southern Nevada. I've looked this up multiple places online and a Nevada Treasures book. The story is, and they say it was near Devil's Peak, which is probably 10 miles that way. So we're 10 miles from Devil's Peak. But at Devil's Peak, there were a bunch of guys that took a bunch of gold from there. And they were coming out of there. And instead of there being six guys, now there's one guy five dead guys so one guy shot the other five guys and killed them so he could take all the gold well the problem is is he couldn't get all the gold from the cave they were at to where he wanted to go and that's the spring mountains over here so he came to this cave overnight hit all the gold in this cave and something in that cave spooked him that night he described it as a witch or a banshee but scared him so bad he left all the gold in there and took off he later came back and they, uh, they either filled the entrance in with rocks or they dynamited it shut to keep whatever evil presence or witch is in there. And they never came back and got the gold. That's how terrified this guy was. Um, I've been looking for this cave all summer, taking uh, my dog out on walks everywhere. And I just stumbled upon it this time. And this is the one. There's just a small hole where you can see that there's actually a cave. And we'll show you on the video, of course, once we get up there. But uh, we're going to investigate and see if any of this is true. And if so, if there's anything still here, and who knows, maybe we get rich tonight. But that's what we want to do. So welcome to Day at Night. We're back, baby. We're, yeah. Wait, wait, we're looking for gold. We're back. Let's find it. Chris is going. Run. So Mark's on the camera, Chris and me. And now we're going up to the gold. I was at this mountain once before, just with my dog, not even ghost hunting or treasure hunting and I was spooked out by this mountain I didn't know what it was or why but it would just creep me out it gave me the heebie jeebies dude it does look like a freaky mountain I'm telling you it's like it's like the superstition mountain in Arizona it's like just freaky it's one of those like aliens have a basin you know yeah actually yes almost look like one of the ones they turned upside down so they could have a base in it I forget what mountains they say about that. It might be the superstition. Superstitions in Arizona. It's a nice rock. There's some random big old rocks out here. Let's find some gold. And some ghosts. Yeah, so the ultimate goal would be to, uh, to find out what, what's up here and if the story's true, but really, we can also find gold. Want me to tell you guys what rocks? He's a rock. Yeah. Would appear to have, you could, might have gold dust in them. If it has a lot of quartz and if it has oxidized iron, like that reddish black. Isn't there something yeah. called Zyka, 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 something, fool's gold? Oh, yeah. Oh, pyrite? Yeah, pyrite? I could have that too. That's going to be close to gold. 
But like it's in a wash like this would be the perfect spot. Oh, Actually, yeah, this sure. is a road. And back of here, you know, back of big rocks. Down deep. So when I was here with Rocky, he like walked up that wash for a second and he made his yelp cry. Yeah. I've never heard him make. Something terrified him. Oh my gosh. And then, you know how he always runs out in front of me like 100 yards? Yeah. He wouldn't be my side. Wow. Yeah, it was nuts. Do you think, maybe you saw a snake, or do you think he ever has seen like a, a spirit? Possibly. Because animals are good at that stuff. Yes, I mean, something spooked him for sure. He was not himself. Chris, what I haven't told you guys yet is there's a spot up where this cave is that has like these stone benches that were made and in the middle of fire and like a pentagram. And I don't know if that was done because of the story or that's what actually brought this creature, witch, or banshee here. But we'll go check that out as well if we don't get too scared. All right. I like banshees. Is the coast clear up there, Mark? Do you see any skinwalkers or banshees? Okay, good. Let's proceed. You okay, Nick? Nick's batting a thousand tonight. Yeah, I'm having a rough one. I'm gonna turn the spirit talker on and give it to you. I'll turn mine on. So I'm starting to get anxiety coming up here. I feel a little weird. Say that again, Mark? Weird. Yeah. Was it you that was saying, Mark, that you had a bad back? You did some too? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in pain right now. This is where I started feeling really off last time. So any spirits or other spirit entity type things? My name's Nick. I'm gonna get the mountain in the background. And hey, I'm back, I'm Mark. Chris. And we are the three amigos. You know, I told you I, would, I was up here before. I told you I would come back up here. Uh, I have anxiety again. I think my heart's beating fast. Something about just getting on this road. But we're just here to see uh, if the story's true. If, if there's anything that lives in this cave or protects this gold. And is there, did somebody kill five men to bring this gold up here. I got something good is going to happen. Two o'clock. It said something good is going to happen for once. Nice. Hey. You gotta stay till two uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. So this is it. There's an opening there. Watch it. And one up there, watch it, as soon as we get close to the entrance. Positive. I think we check out this um, ritual part you? over here first, maybe? This one? Yeah. To yeah. warm up. <laughs> this one? This one. That's one of them, yeah. You can see all these dirts and rock been stacked up here. What is? What do you think that is? Like, is that someone dynamited that, or? That's why I don't know. It almost looks like it's just backfill, like they, we need power. They put it all. Change voice. Change voice. Ten spirits. All right. Hey, Mark, we're going to check out this ritual spot first and then come to the cave. I, I had a, a we need power and burnt. On your spiritometer? Spiritometer. Holy crap. Oh, my God. There's bats. <laughs> Whoa. Big. It goes back there, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice. 
What's that device? Oh, it's a spirit talker. You could talk into it. You can talk to me. Are you in here in this cave? Is anything in this cave with me? You gotta go in. We're not bad. Oh, that's good. Oh, dude, this is cool. I know, that's what I'm saying. This is sick. I wonder if they... Looks like they cut this to be a badge. Yeah. Cool. My name is Mark. What's your name? What's your name? People have been in here. My name is Emily. Hi, Emily. I heard Erica. What are you doing in here, Emily? Are you really nice? You seem too nice. You look familiar. Check this out. Why is there a fireplace in here? Why is there a fireplace in here? Huh, mathematics. All right, I'm gonna grab, I'll be right back. You guys wanna try to stir them up? Wait, Chris, are they not in that bag for sure? Judy? Judy? All right. You're watching me? Okay, how come? Am I lost or you? The number seven. Something bad is going to happen. Oh, great. I thought you said something good was going to happen. Going off? No. So listen to this. One of you guys should do what I just did. My name is Walter. Take your camera with you. Ooh, Walter again. Second. Scratches. Take your camera with you. Just walk to the end of this road. I was hearing footsteps behind me or to the side of me the whole time. 
and then it said, "We're," and then it said, "We're going with you," and then we're watching you. I was like, "What?" Did you ever record it? Uh, yeah, but it, like my camera's just facing forward, but it was freaking me out. It was scary. I want to wonder what happened to. Wow. It literally sounded like someone was walking right behind me, like the rocks, like the rocks were behind me, like you know, crunching. Okay. Dude. I could do that. Yeah, give it a shot. So any spirits or entities that are out here that might guard that cave, or maybe you're just out here because there were rituals. We heard there were rituals out in this spot. My name's Nick, if you remember me. This is Mark. Hello, everybody. Chris. And this is Chris. Mark's gonna go down this road. Follow him like you just followed me, because I want to make sure I'm not crazy. And I want to see if that happens. And then can you help us out and play with some of our toys? We've got a bunch of balls out that you can hit and they'll light up. These antennas will light up colors. You're hitting this one very good. Yeah, check that out, Mark. Which one All right. This one. I would really like to see if there are spirits out there with me. Was this a mine of some kind at one time? Painted neck. Okay. We are family. Someone following me? Yes, we're here. I'm all alone. I'm vulnerable. Touch me. Scratch me. When I was in that cave, you appeared to be nice. Was that just a, a trick? Is that just a trick to do harm to me? Do harm to me? I swear I just heard footsteps behind me. I'm a friend. And when I stopped, I heard a couple more and it just stopped. I did. Okay, let's see. Maybe. Are you really a friend? <laughs> Are you really a friend? Do you like Satan? No, I do not. See, I told you. You're just trying to trick me. I love Jesus. Is all power over you. Satan, do you like Satan? Do you like Satan? Come on. I had a feeling you were just playing with me, pretending to be nice and friendly. Push. Oh my god. Go back there. I heard something. Man, I'm hearing it. Ooh, I got the chills here.
step and then a step. What's your name? Gloria. Hello, Gloria. What year did you? Shadow. What year did you die, Gloria? What the f Man, now I feel a little different. I feel a little better, but down there now, I did not. You, Gloria? Are you from the 1920s, Gloria? I'll use my voice. Oh, please do. Can you touch the other ramp pot for me? Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, they're touching it big time. Whoa. Yes, they are. Oh. Can you go back and forth again? Can you touch the other one? Percentage. Dude. Oh, they're here. Were you just waiting for Mark to leave? We didn't, we didn't really ask him to when we were, oh. when we were down there. I, I said something about cat balls, but... Do you stay at this cave? Good. That's crazy. Can you touch one of the balls that are around here? I don't understand. Whoa! It says I don't understand. Dude, look what it did to my phone! Oh my gosh. It never does this. It's like making a... Like it's a... Those going off like what is happening? This... What is happening, guys? This never happens to this app, to my device. It sounds like it's presence. like a presence. It said presence. Are you doing this to my phone? Can you make it stop? What is going on with this? I just turned it off, and it's, but that noise is still going. But this, this is, is off. Is it? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Let's see if I. The number one. I just turned everything off on my phone. So it's not making that noise now. 17. 17. 17 what? Is there an entity in that cave? If I come sit over here, will you still do that? Can you tell us what would be in that cave if we go in there? Is it safe? Is that a yes? Uh, I take that, that as a yes, I guess. If it means yes, hit it again. Hit the rampart again. Dude, this one went off right neck. That scared me, man. They both went off. Dude, my hairs on my arms just <laughs> freaking shot up. Okay. So, do you want us to go in there? Is that what they're saying, or are they saying don't go in there? Hit it again if you want us to go in. That means we should go in. <laughs> That's right. Uh, if you don't want us to go in there, if, if it's not safe, hit one of the REM pods for us. Oh, jeez. Good. Can you tell us why it's not safe, maybe on this device? How's my, I don't even know how my flashlight got on either. That's not that big of a deal, but it does seem like like do you feel like there's a lot of energy here? Like Yeah, like it just bounces off these walls, yeah. off these rocks. Oh, and by the way, like 
they, they say where there's a lot of quartz, that, that can happen too. It and holds the energy and stuff. And, and, and these rocks are full of it. Um, dude, you know what's scary is looking up on that ledge like something could be hovering, hovering over you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty scary, huh? I'm a little scared. Or she could easily just come down there. <laughs> what do you think Zara means? Zara. Is that the entity that they. I think about that's to, someone's name. We're about to Google to see if that what that means. Z bug. Dude, now everything went really quiet. Whoa, that scared me, dude. What is setting that off? Dude, no joke, Zara is a powerful blood demoness. Oh my gosh. She's in love with Zion. Whoever that is. I don't know. Dude, but no joke. I knew it. This is where I said that they did rituals, right here. Is this where you're talking about the pentagon? Yeah, the pentagram. Or the pentagram? Mm hmm Is it, like, painted somewhere? I thought it was in the middle of this stuff where this fire was, but uh, maybe they covered it up, or maybe... I don't know. So, if Zara the Blood Demoness is here... Can she hit a REM pod? Does she know how to do that? Yeah, the one right next to me, dude, all the hairs on my arm again stood up. Holy crap. Yeah, I can see, see peace bumps on your arm. Dude. What the? Zip. Zip. I think there is. Zero. Did she did three. She did three. Three. Did you do three on purpose? What have you read what three means? Just uh, demons mocking the Holy Trinity. Okay. Because, like, in the. One. In, in literature, three usually is Godhead, and then six is mocking. But it might be yeah. different. You know, with demons, might be trying to pretend they are. Those three again. Well, they say that's like why 3:33 in the morning is the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by nine? Uh, I've read something before because I kept getting nine. So three, six, and nine. Dude, that thing, cre that thing's creeping me out. The way it's like, it's like sounds dead, but. Hey, Zara, is it a good idea for us to enter the cave and to see what's going on in there? Is there a witch or a banshee in the cave? Oof. Is that this? Yeah, yeah, but it's different. It's like blinking red. I think that means temperature change, but dude, maybe that's why I got chills right next to it. Mark, we've been having a light party. Have you? Have you? That thing's gone off a thousand times. This thing's gone off a bunch. What do you say? We looked up what Zara, who Zara is. She's a Demon blood, what was it? A demon blood, blood uh, goddess or something? Demoness? Princess. One thing I got when I was down there is, yeah, mm. if, I, if I like Satan. Did you like it? What'd you say? I like Jesus. <laughs> this said absolutely when you said that. <laughs> said, do it, do you like say, it said absolutely. Wow. Dude, I'm getting chills like crazy over here now. Do we kick the equipment into the cave? Yeah, let's go. Or yeah. set more stuff up out here. And then when I was heading down there, I felt pretty good. And then I was walking, and then I stopped. And uh, I heard footsteps behind me. Did you hear two? A couple more, and then they stopped. And it was like a ways behind me. Got the chills. And, uh, yeah, you heard it too. Yeah, and then and then I got Dude, a, phantom footsteps. And then I got a thing called, sh it said shadow. Mm. Shadow. 
and I was walking away, and I, I don't know if it's in my eyes or whatever, but yeah, I then saw something just go right by. Um, I saw I saw a shadow go right by. Yeah, like, oh. I don't know. There's something weird up here. There's and then when I started, something is odd. When I started coming, energy. yeah. When then we started coming back, I felt a little better, but I I was freaking out. The white hey, one's in there. Do you smell oranges? Feel like a drink. Dude, it's going off. Try Fanta's new taste. It's deliciously orange. I've never heard it say that before. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, I got up there and peeked in and turned right the hell around. <laughs> I was like, nope. That 21? 21 bit. Yeah, this ain't easy. No, it isn't. Great, I'm not even gonna Locked. fit. Well, you guys have fun in there. I'll keep an eye out uh, on you're everything going. out you here. Are going. I'll just keep an eye out. Actually, I have to be too scared. There's a spider right below my butt. I don't think it's a dangerous one. Merry, Merry Christmas. I'm golden now. Yep. I just came in, and now they're coming in. Not easy to get in here. But yet we're doing it anyway, huh? Yeah, just don't worry about the tap, You guys, I was just saying, we. We could come look at the cave. I didn't mean we had to come in. <laughs> uh, I'm not that hung. <laughs> Talk about me. <laughs> Something right there. This is this place got its own fireplace. How would they build that? Oh, it goes back. There's one chimney. See? What? There's a fireplace. There's a fireplace. Do we need it? Yeah. Does it have an opening or no? Or bath? No. One. Dude, that's where the gold's hidden. Uh, the Black Widow. Who's in here with us? Chris, Black Widow in that corner, be careful. Okay. Oh, big yeah. one. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Who's in here with us? I've seen you touch your rim pods already. See, you just go up to them and you touch right by them and they make noise. It's really fun. You'll have a great time. Try it. Should we go in one side and give you some space over to here? Yeah, watch your head. Oh, are you we'll give you a little space and then maybe I'll go to that side. So who's in here with us? Talk to us, baby. Talk to us. You sound like you were really nice and uh, welcoming before. I have a fun game. This is what's called the flashlight. You can turn it on and off with your magic powers. That's the ram pod if you're in here with us. Turn the flashlight off. Oh, Hello. It did, it answered you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Man. Now, if that was you, when you're around it, can you do it one more time for us? In three, two, one. Dude, totally different noise too. Thank you. You could let go now. If I'm safe, if we're safe in here with you, can you turn it on? What was that noise? What is that? You hear that? Boop? Yeah. Like yeah. Boop, boop. Okay. You guys don't know what that was? No. Oh shit! What's that? That's the REM pod, oh. the temperature thing, but so, still. Are you a uh, woman spirit? Can you touch it if yes? Dude, okay. did you hear that? Doom, like amperage. Oh, there it goes. You're a woman? It's green too. Are you? Thank you. Is it a banjo? Um, 
your name Gloria? Hey, let's just cut right to it. Are you a witch or banshee? Okay. What is your name? Can you uh, tell us over these spirit talkers we have? I haven't said much on mine lately. What's the difference between a witch and a banshee? I think a banshee is a witch. It's like a, a witch that screams, no. that, like howls. So are you just a witch? Go. Uh. Thank you. So, are you? If you're a good witch, can you light it up one more time for us? Okay. If you mean us, if you're a bad witch, you can touch it for us. Touch it now. Dude, what is happening? Is it bad? Yeah. Did you just push me? I wonder if they're trying to juke us. Hey, let go, please. Are you the one who asked me if I like... I like Satan? Touch it if you were the one who asked me. Oh, that scared me, dude. Nice. So it's going nuts with the Satan comment? Yes. I see a bat flying around up there. That's okay. They won't hurt us. All right. Do you want to harm us? Hey. We can all be friends, you know? What would you like to tell us? Dude, when it goes oh, tell oh, us, I get the chills, me. man. Can you let go, please? And Thank you. My app keeps going off. Like, I've never had a weird time. So, dude, that sounds like the spirit box. It, yeah, it doesn't sound like it's come to no. It's from, from the backpack, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's coming from the backpack. We should turn that on. What's the spirit box? It's the thing we do Estes with. How did you die? Dude, this isn't even on. I don't know how that's beeping. Were you burnt? But that's the noise. That's weird, dude. Have you guys ever heard of the mimic spirits or mimic entities that will mimic a voice or a noise? Child or oh yeah. Ah! He's a little baby. What? Oh, no. First, First time, time I came on. Terrible. Like the other one, like both of them. Another one. Really? Another cat ball? No, no, that was just a light oh. Did you get that on video? The cat I ball got right this here? one. Right here. What about the flashlights? Can you turn those on? Not likely. Not likely. Alright. You like the ramp pods though, that's for sure. You get many visitors. Dude, rem pod again. Are you behind Mark trying to turn on the turn on the flashlight? That cat ball won't show out either. That's what I was saying. This isn't working right. What the hell? Yeah, what's your name? What name? Which, what name? Ask if you like Satan or. Do you guys like Satan? Are you evil? Are you just messing with us? Are you really good spirits? This thing's just too loud. It's. Yeah. 
Can you please tell us over the talkers? Can you give me a name? What is your name? Are you evil? Unincluded, it said. Are you are you stuck? Drew, Chris, I didn't know this, but I got Chris again. Oh crap. Corpse, female, morbid. Okay, look up. You're stuck. Turn on another cat ball or flashlight. Turn that one right in front of me there. Can you touch that one right there? You can't do oh, it. Oh, that's a flashlight right there. You, you don't have enough power. Pussy! Pussy! Quit being a Turn on a flashlight! This is where, this is the part of the episode that it starts taunting the spirit. <laughs> yes, there it is. Uh, just let your uh, children, uh, just close their ears. Seriously, quit bitching out and touch a flashlight. Yeah, if you're so you evil, go. then, uh, you know, let's right. see it. Scratch one of us. Scratch me. Scratch marker Chris. I wonder if it takes less energy to set those ramp pods off. I think so, because they go off pretty easy. Yeah. I feel like they just have to go near them. Where, like a flashlight, they have to like put energy into it, and the cat balls they have to like touch. Do you, have you read anything about like where people tend to go? Is that where the spirits like to linger? Or do they like to be away? From I people? don't know. I think it depends on the spirit maybe. Yeah, I think it's a good question. Do you need help? Oh, what? Yeah, I don't know what that noise is, dude. That other red pod does not make that noise. Do you need I don't help? know what that can be. Is it, are you still with us? Those are the only two things over there, right? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's the REM pod. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, latch on to that freaking REM pod. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the flashlight over there. Shit, you scared me. Good one. That's funny. That's cool. I like it. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that. Some spider's going to have a ball with that one. Okay, that one's not funny. Actually, it's pretty funny. You got me twice now. <laughs> that's sturdy. Dang it. I really just want the flashlight to be turned on. Turn the flashlight on again? That's when I get freaked out is when that flashlight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Can you turn the flashlight? Can you touch it? I promise I'll be very nice if you if you turn on the flashlight. Like I won't be mean anymore. Well, there's that noise. Yeah. That's gotta be coming from the REM pod. I think that's the temperature change. Okay. I'm sweating my balls off. Yeah. I haven't been talking about this at all tonight. Do you know anything about five guys dying over gold? Gold that was brought to this cave. Touch the ramp pod. Touch anything. Make a noise. I swear to you guys I heard an owl. I heard a whoo. Did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. If an owl like popped up in that hole right there, that would be sick. <laughs> and then transformed. Oh. Then transformed into a wolf. <laughs> and ate us. Or a whole uh, legion of freaking cobras. Well, that would be scary though. I'd scare the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. They're scary. Coming in here to cool off. Shit sweat their balls off. Can you please turn on the flashlight? Can you tell us anything about guys that were killed over some gold? Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth was probably one of them. Good job. They were all named Kenneth. <laughs> what are Jailhouse. Jailhouse. Jailhouse? Were they arrested? Oh wait, they were dead. Never mind. Is Kenneth the one that bailed? You think the, the one out of five that yeah, the sixth guy that killed the other five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I think. Did Kenneth kill people? Did they say anything? Is that why he was in the jailhouse? And did he bring Baxter. Baxter? Baxter. Was his last name Baxter? Did he come in here with his gold? And what did he see? What did he see that freaked him out? Wow, that's quiet. Was, was, yeah, it seemed like it got quiet. Got really still. That's the calm before the storm. Something freaky is about to happen. Was, was Kenneth or Baxter, or Kenneth Baxter, do you do an evil thing? <gasps> Flashlight! Oh my gosh! Oh. I was on that the whole time, too. Awesome! Oh. Can you turn it off? That You know that quietness where we're like, it's quiet, something's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. They're just collecting some energy to turn that on. Well, wow, man, chill, sweat, jeez. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Can Thank you turn it off so we can do it again, please? The other way. You can do it. Or thank boom. you. Oh, oh, oh. Boom shakalaka. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you're thank awesome. You. Even if you're a badass witch, you're still awesome. This is why we thank you for doing that too. Good job. I love witches. Mm. We're not witches if you're not a witch. Whatever. So, so that yeah. flashed after we asked if he was evil. Come for right. a storm. Thank you so much. Can you do it again? Grumpy. Grumpy? We're so far away from I feel like it's quiet again, though. That's nuts. Like, what else could possibly make that go off? There's no nothing, no power, no wind, nothing down Anything in here. It's so yeah. stupid. And then off on command. No wind, nothing. Did, did Kenneth end up with gold? Did you hear that other front pod just make a Yeah. Oh, again! Something's going on. Huh? Are you taking energy from that REM pod to turn the flashlight back on? Huh, buddy? Huh, now? If it's not a witch, if it's Kenneth or someone else doing it, can you do it again? We're waiting. I feel it coming again. I feel the quietness. Take power from anything you'd like to do, so. Not likely. <laughs> Come on. Pretty please. Is anybody else with us? Would you like to say something? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Second time's a charm. Correct. Boom. Thank you. Wow. wow. Good job. You can turn it off. One ghost video. detected. Can you turn it off? Wow. Turn that shit off now. Hold up. You can do it. Thank you. Turn that shit off. You Dude, know. I have a crazy green anomaly on my camera, flying around. Really? Yeah, and I don't see it. I don't see anything that it could possibly be. Thank you. There goes. Oh, wow, that's good. That's awesome, awesome. That's some of the best. Uh, that's cool, I love when the flashlight flash just went off again? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we asked it to. Hey, thank, thank you for using the flashlight. It oh, yeah. Makes no. our, it makes it better. Thank you so much. We don't confirmation. Nick doesn't mean to bother you. I'm not bothering anyone. You know, you're welcome to try it again before we leave. That is third time. Awesome third time. time would be awesome if you could do that. And the ramp pods have been silent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know you got to turn that on one more time, especially if you could do it on like a count, like one, two, three. But it's that's when you. Oh! oh! Holy! Whoa! Oh my gosh! You are the man or woman, whoever's doing that. Man, that's sweet. That, Thank hey, let's you do it so again. much. Turn her off. You're doing great. No. The green thing's back. Oh, yes, wow. Sir. It's just like floating around. You see, has anything to do with the light? Boom, oh, it's yeah. off. Yeah, because now it's off. Now it's gone. It's a flare, yeah. Yeah. Because I'll get a green dot when I take yeah, the Yeah, mine is doing the same into thing. the sun. But I was yes, getting dust. Light. I was getting like a green orby dust. Uh, Thank so you so much. Three times. That's awesome. So I think we're, we're back. Ooh, there's a bat. There's a bat. There's a flashlight! Do you, I wonder if that entity is that bat now. Mm. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. Well, if and it's off, off. and off. You're doing great now. Yeah. You got this down. Can you tell us your name? Whoever's doing that. Standing inside. Standing inside. Inside the cave. That's. That's amazing. Like, right by the flashlight? I don't know why I get surprised anymore at this stuff. No. Are you touching the flashlight? Yeah, but the, fl the flashlight never, it, that, it just pumps you up every time, though. Every, yep. Dude, when we were in that you know property that up in the mountains, and it was just boom. Well, you know my story, Remember when right? we said, if you're a big, bad demon, turn on the flashlight, and it went boom! Yeah, yeah, it went off. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. All right, now, if you're a female, can you turn on the flashlight? One, two, three. If you're a male, hit that flashlight. One, two, three. If you're an it, if you have neither part or both parts, dingling vagina, turn that flashlight. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. Be edited out. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to use it to figure out who yeah. you are, but they, they might need to get stir up some energy. Um, evil, follows. Evil, follows. evil follows. Evil follows. We know it probably feels like on your end, like oh my gosh, I keep turning it on, and then you ask again, and then you ask again. But it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we love it. Does it seem like? Whenever it's, ooh, whenever it's evil, do they have more energy? Yeah, I feel I feel like they have more power. If, if it's like not a human spirit, yeah, yeah, that's what I think at least. Okay, if you're an entity that's non-human, maybe an elemental, being in the earth here, turn that flashlight on. Is that what you are? So I think we've had some friendly female spirits, and it seems like when it's more evil, perhaps a Kenneth or a male, it seems like the rampods get quiet and the flashlight goes off. I don't know. Is that what you guys are finding? And the quietness could be chasing other things out of here, like it scares other things out, so then it gets real quiet as well. But wouldn't we feel a little different though, heaviness, not calm, quiet? I mean, it was like, I, until it went off, it, just felt kind of like still. Yeah. Good. I don't think they're always necessarily bad either. It could just be yeah. different presence. But, but yeah, but I, I felt more uneasy with whatever presence is outside the cave. Yeah. Yeah, following us. Yeah, like it literally follows you down that road. It's crazy. Like I started running. I'm like, dude, I'm out of here. And that's how I felt when I was with Rocky by myself. I was like, dude, there's just something like following me around. Yeah. Skull. I heard it too. Skull. I wasn't planning on it. Where is the skull? You're sitting on it. There's different types of dimensions and entities. I wonder if some have more power than others. Oh. Yeah, can you turn that flashlight on for us one more time? We really appreciate that. That was my favorite. We'll get out of here for you. We'll leave you alone. Or unless you would like us, and you like our company, you can let us know that as well. Turn that flashlight on. Flashlight, not ramp on. I wonder sometimes if they make the ramp on go off, if they collect the energy from it as well. Get that flashlight for us. We'll get out of here. Boom! Ah, yeah, good job. And right off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, not to be too greedy, but can you turn this purple one on? That'd be tight if they did. Dude, my butt hurts now. Oh! Three. Again, the number three. When you say three, are you speaking of something holy, or are you mark, mark, mocking something that's holy? If you're mocking the holy trinity, pick up that flashlight and throw it across the cave. Or just turn it on. 
if it's easier to use the ramp pod, should we ask them a couple more questions and then get the ramp up? Yeah, we can do that. If there's an evil entity outside this cave, turn the flashlight on. Flashlight? One more time or no? You're good? Smudge. Smudge? Smudge the cave? It's been smudged a lot. Yeah. It's definitely been I've smudged. Been shitty, you're on fire, though. Good job with the flashlight. That was a great job. Oh, yeah, awesome. thank you nice. for whoever did that. Dude, I feel like, I just felt like a breath behind me, dude. Dude, I feel like, I just felt like a breath behind me, dude. Maybe that bat, maybe that bat got near me. I felt like a, that was messed up. Pretty good. We got followed going down this road. We got some good ramp pod action up on the benches. We didn't get a lot of answers as to what is up here, but we've got some cool stuff. Hey, so thanks for uh, helping us out tonight as much as you did. If there's any more messages or you want us to come back, let us know now. So, just when you think you're safe now, watch out for skinwalkers. Witch! Now they give it to us. No way. Like I just got killer and witch. The two things we were asking for. Who, like who killed the people? Help them. You tell me the killer is the witch? Help them. Help the killer and the witch?